Hi everyone, it's Jess aka Caroline Bumblebee and I'm back today with another video with you. Today I'm going to share with you all of my completed pages from the month of March 2024. I coloured 24 pages this month so I've got quite a few to get through so let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you my books from smallest to biggest so that prevents the zooming in and out issues. The first book I have to show you is Boule de Poix by Diane Dufour and this was March's Pages, page four, colourful diary and novella's colouring hashtag in this book and we coloured this page. I decided to do a really fun metallic watercolour in the background and after colouring that I decided to keep the rest of the elements quite simple. I decided to colour the dog as a golden retriever, some nice pink roses and a soft green to go with everything. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, this was a really fun page. I used polychromos for this and for the background I used my Antec metallic watercolours and I just love the shine on the page. So that was Boule de Poix by Diane Dufour. Next I have Small Victories by Johanna Basford and this was my first page coloured in this book as a buddy colour with Dariana Colours on Instagram and we decided to colour this floral pencils page and I knew as soon as I saw this page I wanted to use a rainbow colour scheme. I used polychromos for this and I even started the opposite page by colouring one of the little desserts there. I'll move my page over and pop Dariana's here. I really love how hers turned out. I love the colour scheme and how it looks completely different to mine. One of my favourite things about buddy colours. Yeah, that was Small Victories by Joanna Basford. Next up I've got A Million Baby Animals by Lulu Mayo and this was another untouched book for me this month that I coloured in and this was a buddy colour with Kath Colours on Instagram and we coloured this Dear Family page. I based this whole page with my Tombow Jewel brush pads and then went over the top with my Prisma colours. I've got the colour combinations on a piece of separate paper here ready for the opposite page. I will show you Kath's beautiful page here. We used quite a similar colour palette but she did a really nice rich brown for her background which I really enjoyed. Yeah, that was Million Baby Animals by Lulu Mayo. This is one of my favourite books by her that she's released at the moment. And I can't wait to colour some more pages in this. So thank you to Kath for colouring that page with me and getting me started in this book. Next, I've got a new book that I purchased this mo month. This is the newest Colouring Heather Pocket Edition Happy Moments. These are designs by Paper Panda. And I picked this up at a local Asda. And I just love the images. And this is the page I coloured. It's actually the cover image. I loved it so much. I just knew I had to colour it straight away. I based this with my Touch Art alcohol markers. And then I went over the top with Prisma colours to do all of the shading. And yeah, I really love how this page turned out. It was quite a quick page to colour, quite easy. The details are small, but not too small that it's impossible to colour. Yeah, I can't wait to colour more pages in this book. There's some, all of them are just absolutely adorable. That was Happy Moments by Colouring Heaven. Then I coloured a page in Kawaii Taro by Lulu Mayo. And I have decided to colour this book in order for the Major Arcana cards. So. I've done The Fool so far, The Magician, The High Priestess, and this month I coloured The Empress. I really struggled with this page to start off with. I wasn't sure what sort of colour palette I wanted to go for, so I decided to just colour one element at a time. So I started off with the chair and I wanted to do this sort of bluey purple colour, and then I think I then did these purple flowers 
and I thought pink would go nicely with that, some red for the pomegranates, and then the whole page just came together quite quickly after that. I based this with Tom Bed Jewel brush pens, and then I went over the top with Prismacolors, and I used the Starry Colors metallic watercolor paint around the border, which I have been doing for all my other pages here, just to have it quite cohesive. And I was really upset because after I finished the metallic watercolour background, I spilt a bit of water on this page and it did leak through slightly. You can see a bit of bleed there, but I just went over it with the, um, I think I used a felt tip pen in the back of this, so I just went over it again. But yeah, it happens with colouring. Sometimes you get a bit messy and I just embrace it. It shows that a book is well loved and once I've got my picture of my page, I'm happy to move on and if it gets messed up, that's okay. And it's very minor, you can barely see it here. But yeah, the next page I'm colouring, I've already started, is The Emperor. So I look forward to finishing that one off in April. That was Kwai Taro by Lulu Bayo. Next I've got Die Welt unter der Lupe Zulande by Rita Berman. I've showed this a couple of times in my Easter and Spring Colouring Pages Ideas video and you might have seen this whip that I was working on. I finally finished it towards the end of, end of the month. I went very simple with this page, just a few greens for the leaves and then an easy pink, pink blue and yellow colour scheme for the rest of the elements. And yet yeah, this just screams Easter to me, I really enjoyed colouring this. I used my Black Widows for this page. Yeah, quite happy with the results. I've kept the colours ready to transfer over to this page because I think it would look nice if they have sort of cohesive colours. I'm thinking of colouring this in April, but I'll see if I get around to it. So that's Develt Under Du Lupe Zulande by Rita Berman. Then I've got another book which was untouched before this month and I finally got around to colouring this. This was a buddy colour with Colouring with Amy and she actually finished hers last month. This took me a long time to complete but I absolutely love how the page turned out. It's quite a different colour scheme to what I usually do. I prefer sort of softer, more pastel, bright colours. This one I went very rich and bold. I just thought it would be a nice change to um, do a different sort of colour palette for me. I found an inspiration photo online for the armchair and I sort of based the colour palette off of that. I like this sort of magenta colour for the armchair so I picked some colours, the navy, the teal, the green and the purple that would go nicely with it. And then I accented the whole page with gold metallic gel pen, which you can see on the books on the rug and on the chair, just adds a nice touch to it. I'll move mine across and show you Amy's page here. I also love how hers turned out and I know that she had a lot of fun colouring this with me. She used ink tents for hers whereas I used only Prismacolors for this page and it was one of the first pages I started colouring with my Prismacolors. Yeah, love the result. So thank you Amy for colouring with me in Romantic Country, The Third Tale. And this book, World Fairy Tales by Eerie, is a project book with Disney Meg's colouring. We colour a page in this every month together, and for this month it was my turn to pick the page, and I picked this adorable Easter egg and chicks page. I recently got the colour cubes this month, so I decided to pick out a nice pastel colour palette to use for here. I also added the purple and the orange to the colour palette as I just used it as a guidance, not sort of a strict limitation for this time. But yeah, I used Brute Funa Macarons and some Prismacolors on this page. And then I'm not sure if you can see, but I used the Spectrum Noir Sparkle pens. It's sort of a clear glitter gives it a nice shimmer you can sort of see it on the purple one there and I just thought it was a pretty little finishing touch to the Easter eggs to give them a bit more glitz and glam. I'll move mine across and show you 
Megan's here. I love how hers turned out. Hers looks really soft and super spring and Easter inspired. Yeah, That was a fun one that we coloured together. And I think the next page we're doing is this one. I've put a little note here of a colour scheme I want to use. I just was looking at it the other day and thought I want to use red, pink, cream, light blue and greens on this page, hopefully. So looking forward to colouring that for this month with Megan. Thank you for colouring me with that page. That is World Fairy Tales by Eerie. Next, I've got Maria Troll's Universe. I have been enjoying colouring in this. I previously coloured the, where is it now? A portrait in here for Jamie's Colouring Love. Here it is, for her blue hair for January. I didn't get round to doing the February prompt, but I wanted to come back into this book for March. And her prompt this month was green hair. So I coloured this page, which also doubled up for colouring with Kate's um, monthly buddy colour for this month. So yeah, I just knew as soon as I saw her, I wanted to do this beautiful green hair and lots of sort of purpley pinks and blues. When I finished the image, I thought it was missing something, so I added a little bit of my Antec metallic watercolour to the dragonfly wings. I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there we go. And a bit in the water as well, just to give it a bit of shimmery shininess. And then for the rest of the image, I used Prismacolours, and I really loved how they performed in this book. They blended beautifully for the hair. Yeah, I really enjoy how this one turned out. Her next prompt is multicolour hair, so I'm going to have to find an image that works for that. So that was Universe. This image is from Flora by Maria Trolley. Next up, I've got Matchstick Mouse, a floral colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. And I actually coloured two pages in this this month. First one I did was this spring cleaning page. This was for Olga Rani's Finding Colour um, for one of the weeks this month and the prompt was broomstick. So I thought I would find a matchstick mouse page and this one was just perfect for springtime. Usually I like to base these in alcohol markers but I actually just used my Black Widow pencils for this one and then a tiny bit for the background just basing for the blue sky. Just makes it go a bit quicker in my opinion. But yeah, I quite like the sort of softness of this and the limited colour palette. And these pages always turn out super cute. And then I also did this tulips page. This was a buddy colour with the lovely um, Zoe from Addicted to Colouring. And we decided to colour this tulips page. This was a really quick page for me to colour. I based it with my Ohuhu alcohol markers and then went over the top with, what did I use? Oh, it doesn't say. Went over the top with some, I think it, I went over the top with Black Widows. Yeah, these greens look like Black Widows. Um, yeah, and because I use Black Widows for my colour combination in this book for the mouse, so I used, yeah. Definitely went over the top with Black Widows for this image. I really loved colouring this and I'll show you Zoe's on the opposite page. Hers turned out super bold and bright, which I absolutely love. So that was Matchstick Mouse Floral Colouring Book. And that's two more pages completed than this one. I'd love to see it completed one day. I think this is one of my favourites. That is by Morgan O'Brien. Then I coloured, also coloured in the Springtime Colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. And I coloured this page for St. Patrick's Day. I used, what did I use on this page? I used a, a Hoo Hoo alcohol markers for the basing of most of the image. And then I went over the top with Arteza Expert pencils and Brute Funa macarons and just went for a very limited colour palette, keeping to the sort of Irish flag colours. 
And yeah, I just love how it turned out. It looks so bright and happy. Perfect for St. Patrick's Day. That was from Matchstick Mouse, a springtime colouring book by Morgan O'Brien. Next, I finally coloured my very first page in Nice Little Town 6 by Tatiana Begema Stolova. And this was a buddy colour with Maria, who is on Instagram. And we decided to colour the Book Belongs To page. I'll just move it up slightly. Yeah, I based this all with my Touch Art alcohol markers and went over the top with Prisma colours to blend and shade. And yeah, I am not so happy with the blend of the background. This dark orange at the top is very stripy. I think I should have just done one colour in the alcohol markers and then shaded over the top with the pencils, but I decided to try and blend it out with the Ohu with the touch art markers and it just didn't give the result I necessarily wanted. I tried to hide it with my pencil shading but it didn't hide it the sort of markers completely. I really like the C that I added. I think that adds a nice touch and I enjoy the fact that I had made it a sunset page. I think it just gives a different vibe to it and a very different vibe to what Maria did, which I'll show her page here. Hers is gorgeous. Love how it turned out. And thank you very much for colouring with me. And I finally started colouring in this book, my first ever Tatiana book and coloured page by her. Nice little town six. I've got another book that was previously untouched before this month. This is Tarot Colouring by Alexis E. Thompson. And I coloured this with as a buddy colour with Inside the Lines Outside the Box on Instagram. And we coloured the tower page together. I wasn't entirely sure how to colour the flowers on this, sort of what colour to use, until I read on this page that they said they were fireweed flowers. And so I looked up images on Instagram and they come up with this sort of gorgeous purpley pink fuchsia colour. So I coloured them that and that sort of helped me to base the rest of the colours for this page. I sort of brought in the purpley colours with the castle using a more lavender grey for it. And yeah, I had a lot of fun colouring this page with her. I based the whole image with Tombow Jewel brush pens just to make the colouring go a bit faster. And then I went over the top with my Black Widow pencils. I used some metallic watercolour paint, the Starry Colours Genzai Tambi metallic watercolours for the tarot card. Some white gel pen around the lightning strikes and the fire just to make them pop. And a little bit of glitter gel pen for the centre of the flowers just to add a nice glittery touch. I'll move mine over and add inside the lines outside the boxes here. I actually love how hers turned out. We used kind of similar colours, but her tower looked very different to mine, which I just absolutely loved. Hers gave a lot more of a sort of... It looked like it was more of a fire happening, whereas mine, I don't know if it gives off the effect that it's fiery at the background. But yeah, this was a lot of fun to colour, and I'm glad I finally started colouring this book. I do have another page planned to colour that I have started. As a buddy colour with Candice from Happy Catastrophe. So I will get that done in April. That was Tarot Colouring by Alexis E. Thompson. Then I have 50 Woodland Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. And I saw that Spice Kathy from Spicy Cat Colours was doing a page from this for her buddy colour this month. And as soon as I saw it, I got out my alcohol markers and just coloured the page. This took me only about an hour to colour and it was a lot of fun. I just used alcohol markers for this page. I used a my Ohuhu alcohol markers. And yeah, I love the colour of the flowers. I sort of brought in the colour of the flowers for the bunny's eyes, for the simple green for the leaves, and a nice sort of blue colour for the blueberries that I brought up together with the flower up in their head and I think my favourite part is the Spectrum Noir glitter pen that I used on the wings. I'm trying to get it to show up on camera, not sure if it is. 
I can see it in real life, I promise. <laughs> I think you can see it in this one up there a little bit. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. And a really quick, simple page to colour. So that was 50 Woodland Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cover. Then I picked up 50 Mythical Miniatures. And this page I started as a whip quite a couple of months ago. I felt quite inspired to colour it. And then I lost inspiration. And after colouring the Woodland Miniatures page, I thought I'd come back and finish this one. And it was actually my first page that I completed in this book. So I coloured the unicorn. I knew immediately when I saw it I wanted to do some rainbow hair. And I thought I'd bring the rainbow colour scheme into the flowers and then contrast it with a nice dark background. I used alcohol markers for basing and then I went over the top with Brute Funa macarons. And I used some silver metallic gel pen on the moon and around the stars and there's dotted details in the background. Yeah. Another simple page, but really effective, and I like how it turned out. That was 50 Mythical Miniatures by Camellia Angel Cover. Finally, I've got two Colour by Number Disney Hatchet Hero books that I like to colour in the evenings when I'm feeling too tired to think about colour choices. I just whip one of these out, use my water base markers, and colour away, and it's quite nice and relaxing for me. So first up we got Nature. The first one I did was, right at the start of the month, was Lady. I wasn't sure about the colours for this to start with, but then seeing the image as a whole, I actually really like how it turned out and she looks absolutely gorgeous in this nighttime scene. Then I also did these two Dalmatians holding the balloon. This is one that I started downstairs watching TV doing. I often do the black outlines first and then I'll come upstairs and finish off with all the colours. Yeah, nice and bright and very sweet. And then I did this Pegasus page and this was actually a buddy colour with... Let me look at my book. This is a buddy colour with Sophie's Colouring Journey. We were meant to do this in April but... I was feeling tired one evening and just wanted something to mindlessly colour, so I picked this out and I love how it turned out. She hasn't done hers yet, but I will be sure to share it on Instagram when she does. Usually I will ignore the fact that the outline is in a different colour, but I thought for the Pegasus page, because it's a light grey, almost white Pegasus, I didn't want to have the harsh black lines, so I went round it with the colour it suggested. And yeah, I love how it turned out. So those are all of the pages I coloured in the Nature Colour by Numbers. And then I also coloured in the Vitro Colour by Numbers. And I coloured a few in this one as well. I did Sully. This one was a lot of fun to colour. I never really colour with teals, so it's always nice when I do. And I did Minnie Mouse. I picked this one out because of Dizzy Meg's ABC challenge this month was the letter M. So I picked Minnie out specifically for that. I coloured these two pages. First I coloured Louisa and I absolutely loved how it turned out. I thought I needed to colour Mirabelle next. And oh my gosh, this one took a long time long time. I went over, did the colour first and did the black outlines last and my hand was killing me by the end of it. But it looks really effective all together. Absolutely love how it turned out. Those are bright colours, are always my favourite to do. And then I also did this Bambi page. I think I went a little bright with the yellow and oranges but I didn't have many options with my markers and I quite like these striped sort of background. But yeah, those are all of my colour by number books. And that brings me to the end of all of my completed pages for this month. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down below which was your favourite page or pages. What was my favourite? 
I think my favourite has to be the Romantic Country book study page just because it took me so much time and it was a very different page and colour scheme for me to do. I'm just really pleased with the results. So I think that one has to be my favourite for this month. But let me know, Is your, do you think the same or different? I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye everyone.